now that you understand pattern crawling and the basic movements, I'm going to show you the first homework assignment, if you will, and that is two square patterns without messing up your hands and or your weight distribution. So it's quite challenging at the corners and that's when you want to reset your hands and I'll show you that as I get to each corner. And I'm just going to do the movements and you can watch me do my square patterns and hopefully I won't mess up. Here we go. So I'm going to move to the right first since that's where I'm situated. Thumbs together, feet apart. Now I'm going to reset my hands here. Reset my hands here. Back the thumbs together, feet apart. Going to the left now. Resetting hands for forward crawling. Okay, now I'm going to reverse that entire square pattern. Resetting the hands at the corner. Resetting the hands for forward crawling. One last reset. Just to be completely honest with you, my hip flexors are on fire, my shoulders are on fire, my abdominals are on fire from being tense and holding the balance throughout that whole process. This exercise is uh, it's working on a concept called time under tension. You have to maintain tension about your entire body to stay balanced, stay coordinated. And the whole thing is a mind game as well. So not only is your body working hard, heart rate increasing the whole time, but your mind is constantly focusing on which hands and feet to move. And this is very challenging in the beginning when you first get started. And uh, it don't get discouraged, it will take some time. When you get discombobulated or your hands come out of whack and you're off balance, just take a deep breath, reset, and reset, reset the hands and feet and keep going right where you're at. So I recommend setting a timer so you know approximately how long it takes you to do two minutes, uh, sorry, two square patterns. I'm not sure exactly how long that one took me, but either way, uh, it's a good idea to, to try to keep track of about how long it takes. And ideally you wanna go for five total minutes of crawling. So however many square patterns it takes you to complete in five minutes is a great way to uh, increase your overall total body strength as a unit, coordination, balance, and get in a heck of a cardio workout as well, believe it or not. My heart's racing. All right, thanks a lot.